Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rochelle. Today in this video, my friend Maddie and I are gonna go book thrifting. I thought it'd just be so fun to take you guys along with me, so I'm gonna vlog today. I am so excited for this little book thrifting trip just because I've never been book thrifting before. I really don't know what to expect. Hopefully I can just find some good books that I want to read. I don't even know where to start with book thrifting, but Maddie has done this before. So she planned this whole day and she's gonna take me to a couple of her favorite spots. Maddie's actually on her way to come pick me up. She should be here in a few minutes. So let's get this book thrifting and shopping trip on the road. I am so excited. You have no idea. This is going to be so much fun. This bookshop is the first secondhand bookshop that Maddie wants to bring me to. Have you been here before? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh wait, this way. <laughs> We drove 45 minutes out to get here. We definitely took the scenic route. We looked at a lot of farms and that's about it. Let's go see what we find. This book that Maddie's holding, The Catcher in the Rye. I read that in high school. And it was the first book that I read with profanity in it. So I had to write an essay on it and I was just like swearing in my essay because I was quoting stuff from the book and I felt so grown up. But that was the first time I realized that people swore in books. That was kind of embarrassing to say. This is on my TBR, but I don't know if I want to get it. Maddie thinks I should buy this book. Mm, no, I'm not going to. I'm gonna wait. I still have a lot of books I want to read before that, so. We just left that first bookstore. That store was officially the first store that I tried secondhand book shopping. I could not find anything I wanted to get like right now, but Maddie scored something. She doesn't want to do her haul, so I'll do it for her. She bought The Catcher and the Rye. Next, we're going to hit up another secondhand bookshop. Actually, I think we're going to hit up a thrift store and then walk down the book section of the thrift store. So, let go. Change of plans. We are no longer going to Valley Village, the thrift store we want to go to, to look at the book section because when we got there, there was a giant line that was like going around the building and we just didn't want to wait. So we are going to another bookstore here. Guys, don't be us. We are currently jaywalking across the street, which is kind of dangerous. <laughs> Hungry Games. That's iconic. So that bookstore was really cool because it had new books and then it also had like secondhand books as well. Maddie is trying to find this bookstore that's nearby, so we're gonna try to walk there and hopefully we actually find it. Okay, so the bookstore is closed, but it opens at 3 p.m. It is currently, what time is it? 2.37 p.m. So we are just going to go for a little walk around the neighborhood and then come back at 3 p.m. So it's a little bit later. We had a nice little walk and then we went back to the bookstore because it was three, but the bookstore was still closed. So instead, we are gonna go get some coffees and drinks from this little cafe that Maddie found for us. Sunny at most days You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down And if you take the The drink I got is the lavender iced latte I've never had one before but it sounded interesting so I got it And it tastes really good We're just currently sitting outside just chilling out to the cafe I am probably gonna go find us some more secondhand bookshops Because I am determined to buy a book from a shop we are currently back in the car. The store we wanted to go to actually never opened. Well, it was open, but it was only pickup only. So you were supposed to order online and then pick it up there. 
which we did not know. So we didn't end up getting to check that bookstore out. But the first bookstore we went to, Maddie picked up some books. I'm gonna do her haul again because she doesn't wanna <laughs> be on my vlog, that's okay. I respect Maddie's choices. <laughs> the first book she got is, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try <laughs> pronouncing that. Try. Siddhartha Herman Hesse, Hesse? I don't know if that's right. Maddie won't tell me if it's right. Okay, I read that wrong. I thought that was a whole title, but no. The title is Siddhartha, and the book is by Herman Hesse. The second book Maddie bought is Never Let Me Go by, we're not even gonna say it, cause I'm, gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely gonna butcher this name. Guess who found this book? I did, that's right. I found this book in the store. I actually bought this book for myself like a month ago and Maddie wanted her own copy, so she bought it. This book is still on my TBR. I don't know when I'm gonna read it. It's gonna get read this summer, hopefully. I'm excited to read it though. The last book Maddie bought from this store is Where the Crawdads Sing. Okay, there's a story behind this book. We were in the bookstore and Maddie found this book and she was like, I want this book. And I'm just like, I want that book too. Then she was like, okay, I'll take the hard copy. You can take the paperback one. So I looked at the paperback one and the print was huge and I just didn't vibe with it. So I didn't end up buying it. Now we're gonna hit up one more secondhand bookshop. I actually just found this one right now and we thought it'd be fun to just include a third shop into this vlog. We just went to two secondhand shops and I still didn't buy anything. I'm probably just being very picky with my book choices. Anyways, let's head to the last secondhand bookshop. <laughs> I've read this book, not my favorite. Oh my God. These are the English Row series. I used to love them. I had all the books. Can't remember what a single one of them are about. I swear every bookstore we've been into today, they all sell the Game of Thrones series. There was this nonfiction book that I wanted. It was titled A Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. If you didn't know, Shonda Rhimes is one of my favorite creators in the entertainment industry. And I do want to read that book, but I haven't really been into or got into nonfiction books yet. So I'm just like, mm, it's not really worth it to buy it now when it's just gonna sit on my bookshelf. So I didn't get it. The secondhand shop was the last one we could find in the area that wasn't closed. Yeah, so we're gonna go to Indigo now. You need to buy a book. Yes, let's go to Indigo. I have never seen these Bridgerton covers and they look so much nicer. I've never read this book, but I used to be obsessed with the author Cassandra Clare. I am gonna buy that book one day. I don't know when, but I'm gonna buy the hardcover version. I have never seen this before. Oh my gosh, it's a pocket book. It's the entire book. This is so cool. This book is also my TBR. I have yet to read it yet. I am actually trying to get through all the Sarah J Mass books right now. Hopefully by the end of summer, I will finish them all. I'm happy to inform you guys that I did buy some books, but you will get my haul when I get home. Since Maddie's not coming home with me, I am gonna do her her book haul here in the car. The first book Maddie bought was The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I don't know what it's about, but it has a really pretty cover. The next book Maddie bought is The Blue Castle by L.M. Montgomery. All right, that is Maddie's book haul. I'm gonna go head home and I'm gonna do my book haul. I will see you guys there. Okay, it is a little bit later. I am now back home. It is now time to talk about the damage I did today, AKA my book haul. I didn't buy that many books today, but nevertheless, I am still so excited for the few books I bought. As you know, I couldn't find anything I wanted to buy when we went book thrifting. However, I did pick up two books when we went to Indigo. Indigo 
ago wasn't actually part of the plan for today, but it just had to be included. Anyways, the first book I bought was actually such a steal. I bought Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. This book is a hardcover and I am so happy because as you can tell, I only got it for $8. The hardcover version of this book is originally $36, but I got it for $8. Maddie actually found this copy for me in the sales section. It was the only one on the shelf. The reason why I got this book for only $8 is because it is actually damaged. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little rip here. And also the sleeve at the bottom here is a little bent. But other than that, the book is brand new and it's still in very good condition. So even though this book is a little damaged and it makes me a little upset, I still needed to buy it because I thought it was such a good steal. As you saw from earlier in this video, I actually found a secondhand paperback version of this book at the first secondhand shop we went to. When I was there at that shop, I decided to wait and not get it then because yes, it was a good price, but it wasn't a book at the top of my TBR list. And also a couple days ago, I actually saw this book on sale on Amazon. The hardback version was actually $8 as well on Amazon. So after seeing the secondhand shop selling the paperback copy for around $9.50, I was like, mm, no, I'm not gonna get it because A, it wasn't at the top of my TBR list and B, Amazon was selling a new copy for cheaper. Also, I would rather have a hardback version over a paperback, especially when it's new. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna wait and hope that Amazon restocks before the sale ends. But little did I know, I actually didn't have to wait that long because as you know, I found the exact same book in a hardback for the same price they were selling it on Amazon. Like, what are the odds? I think it's so crazy how I was just talking about this earlier with Maddie and this just fell into my lap. The next book I bought is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. This is the fourth book of the Eight Kotar series. Maddie was actually the one who got me addicted to the series. I got the one with the bonus content in it, so it has like the extra chapter with Farrah's perspective. I cannot tell you how excited I am to read this book. I'll admit though, buying this book actually hurt my bank account a little bit just because I spent $40 on this book. I have never dropped 40 bucks on one book before. Am I insane for paying this much for a book? Absolutely, but it was totally worth it. I've heard so many good things about this book and I cannot wait to read it. I plan to read it within the next few weeks. This book really is gonna take me some time to get through because she's really thick. She's about 700 pages. But I'm also kind of happy that this book will take me some time to get through just because I can just savor the story. Anyways, that is the end of my haul. I bought two books. Even though the book thrifting part of this video wasn't as successful as I wanted it to be, I'm still glad I picked up a couple of books today. I mean, that's just it with thrifting. Sometimes you find things you want and you buy and sometimes you don't find anything at all. Before I go, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Pull the key out the ignition Run your mouth but I'll never listen You hold me back, we'll never last Keep talking all your shit Wondering how all this started You left me broken hearted You flip my words, yeah this love hurts Keep talking all your shit